Hello, everyone. My name is Miriam from the Wikimedia Research Team, and together with Carol and Marek today, I will be telling you about our project called the Knowledge Gap Index and how you can make it your own. Before I delve into this project, I'd like to start with a principle that most of us know very well, as this is one of the foundational principles of our movement strategy. Knowledge equity is that principle that is encouraging us to include into Wikimedia projects those knowledge and communities that have been left out by structures of power and privilege, and include and break down the social, political, and technical barriers preventing people from accessing free knowledge. And so while knowledge equity is our end goal, there exist inequalities in Wikimedia projects that prevent us from advancing knowledge equity. Those inequalities are what we call knowledge gaps. And our goal with the Knowledge Gap Index is to be able to identify, measure, and visualize those inequalities and um, making sure that everyone can see the extent to which knowledge gaps are present in Wikimedia projects. The Knowledge Gap Index is a multi-year research project. Our journey started a few years ago where we started um, research on identifying systematic definition of knowledge gaps. We are continuing this journey by measuring this gap and mapping gaps into metrics that everyone can look at to uh, see the extent of knowledge gaps. And finally, we are looking at ways to visualize gap and surface this measurement into a very easy to understand format. Let me uh, take you through this research journey. We started in 2020 by releasing the taxonomy of knowledge gaps that is a structured list of all possible inequalities that we can find in Wikimedia projects. This is the result of a few years of research um, looking at many references, sources, surveys, and community initiatives in looking for evidence of inequalities in Wikimedia projects. And so the result is this structured list of knowledge gaps across content, readers, and contributors. And just to zoom in uh, into the taxonomy, um, the inequalities that we can find in Wikimedia projects are, can be very different. Um, the gender gap is one of the sadly most famous inequalities, um, but we have uh, more potential inequalities, geographic inequalities, multimedia, age, uh, structured data, and so on. And so once we had a systematic definition of what inequalities we can find in Wikimedia, the next step was to quantify those knowledge gaps. And so the idea here is that, and this is still an ongoing process, is to map each of the gaps in our taxonomy into a metric, into a few numbers that can tell us the extent or the presence of these knowledge gaps in Wikimedia projects. And by doing this process, by generating data around knowledge gaps, we can um, produce data that can give us some interesting insights about the state of a knowledge gap. Let me give you some examples from the gender gap. One of the measurements, one of the ways in which we can measure the gender gap is by computing the number of articles um, that um, for or the number of biographies for each gender. So what we see here is that the vast majority of articles are about men. But thanks to the way in which we can um, we map the, the biography data to genders, we can actually see the distribution across all the different gender diverse categories. Another way in which we can measure the gender gap is not only to look at the quantity of articles, but also by looking at the quality of articles from different genders. And so what you see in this plot is the evolution of the average quality of articles about men, women, and gender minorities over time. 
And what we see is that the average article about um, of our the average quality of articles about women, especially in the past few years, is getting um, higher quality than articles about men. And what we also see here is that the um, average article, average quality of articles for gender minority is increasing at a very fast pace and it is now um, much, much higher than articles about men or women. And this is really, really speaking about um, the efforts, the organized efforts around increasing quality and quantity of uh, articles about gender minorities. <laughs> Um, another way in which we can look at the gender gap is by looking at the visibility of articles. And um, here what we see is uh, over time the average number of page views that an article about a man or a woman or a gender minority person gets um, over time. What we see here that um, an average article about a gender minority get way more page views than other genders. And finally, while most of this data that we saw until now was aggregated across all Wikipedias, um, thanks to the way in which we compute this data, we can actually compare the same measurements across different language editions of Wikipedia. For example, what you see here is the average quality of articles for different genders for Chinese, English, Malay, and Tamil Wikipedias. And um, this is, these are the languages that are mostly spoken in Singapore, so that is why we chose them. But what you see is that these numbers vary from wiki to wiki, so this can also be an interesting perspective that you want to explore in this data. And this and much more data you can find in a recent data set release that we put out a few months ago. So these knowledge gaps metrics data set are now available for you to look and they contain um, a bunch of data about knowledge gaps. Um, so they contain metrics for five knowledge gaps, gender as we just saw, but also geography, sexual orientation, time and multimedia. And for each of these gaps, you will find data about the overall article quality quantity by different genders, for example, the quality of articles, page views, and revisions. This data is available at the link below, and um, we will also um, make sure that the link is included into a meta page that will be attached to the comments uh, page for this video. And so the knowledge gaps data is um, available now to uh, the public and its format is uh, like a gigantic table. And so for us uh, and for some of us, this might be the ideal format through which we want to explore this data because we just plug it into our ways of visualizing data, analyzing, manipulate data through uh, code and other tools. However, in order to make this uh, data more um, explorable and browsable by uh, non-data savvy people, we are working on tools and systems to visualize uh, knowledge gaps in easy ways. One of such tools is being actually deployed as I speak. And again, I will be make sure that the, uh, all the uh, documentation is included in the meta page attached to this video. And the, the first way in which we want to make this data more available is through an API. It's an API that allows us to easily uh, query this data, just a portion of the data that we need for our analysis rather than downloading a gigantic table. And so um, this API has um, a root URL that is the same for everyone, and then you can specify three different parameters. The first one is the type of gap, so the type of gap that you want to get the data for, for example, gender, geography, or sexual orientation. Second parameter is um, the specific category that you're interested into. For example, in case of the gender gap, this can be female, male, non-binary, etc. 
And the third parameter is the period, the slice of time of history that you actually need uh, for your analysis. Um, and so instead of maybe getting the data since the beginning of time, you want to specify a specific month or a specific year. And this parameter allows you to um, specify the beginning and the end of uh, the period that you're interested in. Too. Another way that we uh, have provided you to explore this data is by putting together notebooks that uh, can, uh, there are pre, it's pre, -com pre um, populated code that allows you to visualize um, different aspects of knowledge gaps in a relatively intuitive form. And so Caroline has worked on these beautiful notebooks and she's prepared a video for us where she explores with us these notebooks so that you can make them your own. So I'm going to play this now. This notebook provides you with R code for reading, wrangling, and visualizing public knowledge gaps data to help you and your colleagues answer questions that you might have about gender gaps in Wikipedia content. So after providing you with some basic setup code, as well as code for loading and processing our public gender gaps data, we provide you with code to help answer some questions. To start with, how can I see the current number of articles for males, females, and gender minorities across all Wikipedias? Here we provide you with the code to see those numbers and percentages in both table format and pie chart format. But these are the current numbers and percentages. What if I want to see that data across time? In this code below, we show you how to wrangle and plot cumulative articles created over time for these three gender categories across all Wikipedia. But what if instead of all Wikipedias, you're interested in one Wikipedia edition? Scroll down and you will find the code to generate a plot that shows the same data as above, except for a Malay Wikipedia, one of the languages spoken in Singapore. Here, in the code, we've indicated where you can replace MS Wiki, which is Malay Wikipedia, with another Wikipedia edition of your choice, and then you'll be able to generate the plot for that Wikipedia. But what if you're interested in multiple Wikipedia editions? Well, scroll down, and we've provided you with the code for generating a plot that compares four different Wikipedia editions. Here we compare Chinese, English, Malay, and Tamil Wikipedias, four languages spoken in Singapore. But we've indicated up here in the code where you can replace EN Wiki, MS Wiki, TA Wiki, and or ZH Wiki with the Wikipedia editions of your choice. I hope you enjoy exploring the rest of this notebook as well as additional notebooks that we'll be providing in the future and the rest of your time at Wikimania. So again, the link to this notebook will be provided and included into a meta page attached to this video. Um, and um, I want to thank Caroline for uh, putting together these notebooks again. And this is everything we had uh, for you today. I hope you enjoyed our journey towards knowledge gaps and the knowledge gap index and that you have uh, some tools to make this data and this work your own. We are very much looking forward to hearing your feedback about um, any of that and again the link for feedback will be included into the meta page attached to this video. Thank you all for listening and enjoy Wikimania.